spectators. other rogues what's up yep it's official i'm uh cool in the archive uh i know i know but yeah it's time uh, though i need to make this video some things in my mind and yep in the intro i did i said it i believe that liberals are more intelligent than conservatives now before you get upset before carl goes running off to the prayer meeting to talk about how evil liberals are and how arrogant be aware the science is on my side. Plus, um, be aware of uh, what I did not say, okay? Now, I did not say that all liberals are smart. Uh, I think we know some pretty dumb liberals. And I didn't say that all conservatives are stupid. I, I know some pretty smart conservatives. I do. What I'm saying is, as a whole, liberals are smarter than conservatives. Go! Now listen, uh, they've done some scientific studies and some research, and uh, uh, I'll post those below uh, in in the process. But uh, but be aware that um, uh, they have shown that brain scans shows that conservative brains are different from uh, liberal brains. Liberal brains tend to be uh, larger in the areas where uh, they deal with uh, uh, detecting errors or uh, uh, 
resolving conflict, whereas conservative brains tend to be uh, large in areas uh, of emotion and, uh, well, uh, conflict, aggression. Uh, big surprise, because they've even shown some uh, uh, studies that uh, conservatives tend to be more physically, you know, stronger, and that's because I guess we liberals are too nerdy and reading, and, well, conservatives need to be strong enough to beat up opponents or something, uh, violence, anyway. And so, now, they've also shown uh, scientific scans that IQs amongst liberals tend to be a little higher, and I find that, that very interesting. Um, there's been some reports about highly intelligent children that grow up uh, tend to become liberal. And I begin to think about why is that and stuff. Is it, is it nurture, is it environment? What makes a liberal? May I have the salt? What do we say? Now. And, and I kind of think sometimes it might be a chicken or egg thing and stuff. I think some people just, they're, they're more intelligent than others and those tend to become more liberal. And I think also sometimes uh, families where education is focused, uh, there tends to be more of a liberal uh, shift uh, amongst these students. So, so again, I think it's a, a chicken egg thing. And so I, I've often kind of wondered, what is that? Now, as a former college professor, I, I believe, uh, I think I'm uh, correct in assuming that I think education does play a large part of it. And I think a liberal arts education is actually uh, pretty important. So uh, in the end of the day, um, People like Ron DeSantis and, and conservatives are always complaining about colleges brainwashing their children. And, and, you know, all these commies and socialists and liberals out there trying to steal our children away from us. Yeah, yeah, sit down, Carl. You're being, you're showing your ignorance. Uh, it's not so much that there is a brainwashing effect taking place in our colleges. I think a couple of things are taking place, all right? And, and, and one actually, I think, involves development of the mind, critical thinking. Uh, I mean, college is gonna teach you how to critically think. And I think one of the things that makes liberals more intelligent, expands their brain in that area, is they are taught critical thinking. How to get sad, how to get out of the box. Uh, for example, you know, conservatives, uh, they're, they're really good at uh, at promoting, uh, you know, uh, oh, let's evaluate these two sides, you know, which is better, chocolate or vanilla? And they can basically kind of, you know, evaluate the strengths and weaknesses and, and probably do a pretty good job of that and stuff like that. The thing they see is the liberal comes in and goes, oh, wait a minute, and stuff. Let's think outside the box. Chocolate or vanilla? What about pistachio? Chocolate chip mint? Peppermint? Well, let's think beyond the colors. And, and conservatives have difficulty doing that. It's that black and white thing, and that gets into religion a little bit, but that's for a video of another time. Uh, and, and, and where this goes academically, I'm reminded once uh, of, of, a, uh, of a, uh, a Christian apologist years ago by the name of Josh McDowell, uh, dug up uh, and basically dusted off C.S. Lewis's idea that Jesus was either the Lord, liar, or lunatic. He couldn't. Be, he had to be one of them. All right. And so, uh, uh, Josh McDowell uh, basically wrote a book. Um, but at the end of the day, he pretty much said uh, Jesus was either a liar and he would have got caught, you know, at some point, you know, and stuff. Uh, and and he never was. And so he was a lunatic because he claimed to be God. You know, he might really not have done that. But anyway, uh, and, you know, the gospel accounts show him a very stable individual. So obviously not a lunatic. Therefore, our only option is that Jesus was the Lord. All right. Critical thinking says, well, wait a minute. Well, that's assuming that the gospel accounts we have are fully accurate. All right. They're not. Uh, that's assuming that, you know, these accounts were not developed or, or, or uh, evolved or, or created by the later church, things like that. So thinking outside of the box, you know, conservatives can't do that. Now, the second thing that I've noticed about liberals, conservatives, and an education, getting a good education is going to basically focus on the idea of, well, you know, 
expanding your mind to other perspectives. Conservatives don't like other perspectives. They don't want change. They don't. They they want it to be like it always was. That's why they envision this fantasy world of of the 1950s where everything was perfect uh, and everybody knew their place and all that nonsense. But uh, in the end, a, a good liberal arts education is going to basically expose you to new ideas, ideas that are valid. They may be different. And, and here's a thought that conservatives can't deal with. Sometimes two competing ideas are both valid and both true. Uh, and so the thing that I see is, is you have multiple truths out there in, in a world in which it's basically perspective. And conservatives can't do that. So at the end of the day, I, I come saying that I think to a certain extent, education is probably one of the best things that could happen to an individual. And it's the best way to make someone liberal. And no, it's not through some brainwashing effect. It's because when boils, when, when push comes to shove, when it boils right down to it, um, liberals with a good education are just smarter than conservatives. They approach the world from a different worldview, a different perspective. They think outside of the box. They look for new perspectives, they accept other perspectives and realize sometimes their way of solving the problem is not the best. Maybe somebody else has a better way of doing it. And uh, conservatives can't do that. So at the end of the day, conservatives, they fear that. Because that means their viewpoint, their worldview gets smaller and smaller as we get more educated. But Sadly, there are more conservatives out there and fewer educated people than uh, there are in educated liberals. Does that sound arrogant? No. Well, yeah, it sounds arrogant, but it's not. It's just a statement of fact. You know, I don't go to a mechanic and say, I know more about cars. No, I don't. But I can tell you what, I know more about, oh, history. I know more about politics. I know more about econ. I know about more about uh, art, literature, music, all of these than some of these people out there. Why? I've got a good liberal arts education. It serves me well. And, well, I've got a ton of books that I've read and love to read. And now I'm going through some of them. Some of them got to go. They're old. They're outdated. They're they need to be surrendered. But anyway, that's the thing. Now, next week, I do want to talk. This video's already gotten long. I'm sorry. Um, the thing is, is, that's what makes a liberal. But my friends, conservative friends, who've just kind of given up on me, and and so they're now like, uh, wow, Todd's become a radical. He's a radical. Okay. Well, they've learned that calling me a liberal is not an insult. And I take it as a compliment. So you can call me liberal. You're just a liberal. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. Because uh, that basically says, oh, liberal. A highly intelligent, empathetic person that uh, thinks outside the box uh, and uh, has a bigger worldview than they do. So thank you very much. Uh, but what makes a radical? Um, I'd like to talk about that next time, if at all possible. So uh, bear with me and uh, we'll go from there. So to my cubs, wherever you are, uh, I love you. And uh, I miss you. Stay safe uh, as we get ready to see the meltdown of planet Earth. Peace. When it drops seven days, oh, baby, I can make you a man. Now, listen, they've done some science, all right?